Hello, uh, my name is Ruth Dempsey. I'm a PhD scientist working in lifestyle. I've uh, dedicated my whole career to looking into how small lifestyle changes and even big lifestyle changes can help to make our lives better, give us a, a better and more healthy life in general. And I've been for the last few years collaborating with doTERRA as a member of their scientific and medical education committee. And because it's an obvious match, you know, looking at how doTERRA's products can be behind those changes that you can make to your lifestyle to, to improve how you live. And today I want to talk to you about doTERRA's latest cleanse and restore program here in Europe. Um, and a detoxing in general, which is really what the cleanse and restore is about, supporting the body through a detoxification process. Now, um, I often am asked whether it's necessary. Why do we need to go through a detoxification process itself? We do all know that we are subjected to um, a toxic load throughout our lives um, from all sorts of various different sources. And, and I always prefer to think of it in terms of the toxic load as opposed to specific toxins itself because anything can be a toxin. Really what matters is how much you have of it. So if you even think of sodium chloride table salt, which isn't something you would naturally put the label toxin on, but if you have too much of it, it's going to be bad for you. So I prefer to think about the burden of toxic load that we have on our body in total. Um, and that comes from external sources. It also comes from the way we live and the way that the habits that we have. And it also actually, you can have toxins build up within your body as byproducts of the natural biochemical processes that are going on, the millions of biological processes that are going on within your body itself. Now, fortunately, um, our body is very well capable of coping with that. It has all sorts of organs and functions to actually help to support our, um, our body against these toxins to protect us. The skin and the mucous membranes are the first barriers that we have for things getting in. And because we know the lungs and the digestive tract also are the first places of contact from the external into the internal world, then they are well set up to filter out and to protect us from many of those toxins themselves. And then when we move inside the body itself, we have the real kings of detoxification, which are the organs like the kidney and the liver, and of course the lungs again as well, which have various different functions to help to manage all that extra load, the toxic load that we have within our body itself. And I like to think of it a little bit like uh, keeping the house clean. We have, you know, those housekeepers to make sure the house is kept clean and tidy all of the time. But every now and again, we start to notice the buildup of things, that paper, pile of papers in the hall that needs dealing with, uh, the shoes that are gathering, becoming a, uh, an accident hazard next to the door, those little crumbs that you've seen building up in that, you keep meaning to clean that drawer out in the kitchen and those crumbs are just building up in there. And what we do in the home normally is every now and again, we just have a blitz. We have a spring clean and we clean the whole thing out, a major declutter, and we get everything sorted out. And fundamentally, that's what we're doing with our body when we do a detoxification process, when we go through that detox program itself. I always think it's interesting when we look at, I, I quite often look at some of the traditional regimes that there are for health and, and wellness worldwide. Things like Ayurveda and the uh, Latin American shamanic cultures, Chinese traditional medicine, naturopathy. When I start to look at the, the customs that they have in those, um, and if you see something that's common to all of them, I think that's a really good indication that this is something that is working and that is necessary and that is helpful for the human body. That's the case with detox. All of these traditional approaches have some level of detoxification program built into them. Ayurveda, you would expect to do a seasonal detoxification. Similarly, you do in, in traditional Chinese medicine in naturopathy. So all of these have this idea that you need to detox the body. And interestingly, they all use very similar groups of plant extracts to actually support the body in doing that. And effectively, that is what doTERRA's latest uh, Cleanse and Restore program is all about. So this latest Cleanse and Restore program, let's go through the whole program and look at the elements that are in there. It's designed as a 30-day program um, and it has a number of different elements in there. It has 
the Lifelong Vitality Pack, um, along with uh, the, the European version for Terrazyme um, and Lemon in this first stage that go throughout that full 30 days. We have also a brand new European version of the Sendergrind Complex, which is very exciting because it's both formulated for Europe and manufactured within Europe, which means it now can become a permanent product and we can have it permanently available. And that Zendocrine is a really essential part of it throughout the program. And of course, we then have the GX Assist, we have the Probiotics, the PB Restore, which is also um, the latest version of the PB Restore. And finally, the Zendocrine Soft Gels um, and the DDR Prime. And the whole program is set out, as I said, over 30 days. And during that 30 days, the entire 30 days, the foundation is the lifelong vitality, which you need to take anyway, but it's really important through the detox to take because to keep that nutrition, to keep the body, to keep those organs well nourished, you need to make sure you have all the micronutrients that you get from there, the omega-3s, and of course the cellular response that you, the cellular support that you get from the full LLV range throughout those 30 days. The Terrazyme also is a mixture, a blend of, um, of food enzymes which really target and help to digest and get the nutrients out of the food, which very often these days doesn't have as higher levels of the natural enzymes that they should have in them. And I think particularly when you're like likely to be changing your diet for a period of time to quite a severe diet often in these detox programs, to have that support from Terrazyme to make sure that you get the full benefit of it is very, very important. So you would take that with every meal throughout the 30 days as well. A bit of lemon oil in your water throughout the day is also extremely helpful. Drinking water is vital through this whole process. So it's really important when you're going through a detox to live cleanly, to have a good diet, to make sure you're sleeping well and to be exercising well as well. And also to drink lots and lots of water because that helps your, all your organs to function, the liver and the kidneys and everything to function properly. So by putting a couple of lemon drops in your water, I think it helps to remind you to drink to water all day. It makes it, for me anyway, I think it makes it even feel even nicer, more thirst quenching. And the lemon itself is also helpful as part of the cleansing program. But of course, the real powerhouse of this cleanse and restore program is this Zendocrine complex. And this is the complex that has all of these plant extracts specifically formulated for the, the European formula, formulation so that we can maintain it and supply it within Europe itself as well. And it contains everything you would expect to see um, to support the various different detox organs that there are within the body itself. So for example, it has this Bacarula husk or psyllium husk um, and acacia gum and a um, marshmallow root extracts, which are great for the colon and really help to keep the colon functioning properly. And then when we move on to the real detox organs, the liver and the kidney and the skin and the lungs, we have um, the red clover flower within there, which is great for the liver. And we have dandelion root and burdock root and clove flowers um, and angelica root and artichoke leaf. And the, the extracts from all of these are great for the liver, the kidney. Artichoke is also really good for the digestive system. We also have garlic extract, again, supportive of the liver, but both garlic and kelp, which is also in there, great for the skin too. So you can see how it's a real powerhouse of these um, plant extracts, these herbal extracts, which support the detoxification process throughout the 30 days of this detox program that you're doing itself. So that needs to be taken twice a day throughout the program. And then we break the program into three 10-day sections. So the first 10 days is a day, the, the 10 days where we activate the body. We prepare it for the detox that, we're going, that it's going to go through. And that activation process is encouraged by the use of the Zendocrine, but not the complex this time. This is the soft gels. And the Zendocrine soft gels are basically a mixture, a blend of the essential oils, which are great for helping to support the liver and to help that cleansing process. So it has in it um, geranium and tangerine for cleansing and juniper berry and coriander and rosemary, which are great both for cleansing and for supporting the liver. Those endocrine soft gels morning and evening for that first 10 days. 
And then you've really set the ground for the next 10 days, which is really the reset program here. And the king of this one is the GX Assist. And um, the GX Assist has another blend of essential oils within it, which are really good at, it, at resetting the whole of the body systems related to detoxification. So this has things like lemon and lemongrass um, and peppermint and oregano and tea tree and thyme. These are all known for their antibiotic properties and antioxidant properties. Uh, they can be very useful and helpful for actually cleaning out the gut and for helping to reset you and for, for targeting the, the organs which are involved in detoxification. So a very powerful mix of oils that really help you to reset. And these seem to be very good at targeting the, the bad bacteria in your microbiome. Um, we've talked about the microbiome many times, an extremely important part, and it's not just in the gut, it's in every part of the body, but it's a question of balance always, that it's having the right amount of good microbes and a minimal amount of bad microbes within it. These antibiotic properties seem to be really targeted at the more pathogenic and the bad microbes within this mixture as well. So it's a great moment to actually reset and cleanse the ground and get it prepared for the next renew part, the last 10 days of the program. And I like to think of this almost like gardening, like if we take this house analogy and go out into the garden in the spring, you sort of prepare the ground in the garden, you clear out the weeds and you prepare the soil and you turn it over so that it's all ready to sow your beautiful flowers and your herbs and your vegetables and your salads and everything ready for the summer. And it's a similar thing that we're doing within our bodies itself. We've now sort of you know, reset the whole thing and it's ready to be renewed and reseeded with the things that the good things that you want to have in there. And how better to do that than with the probiotics that you get from the um, PB Restore. This is the latest mixture of probiotics that are available from doTERRA. And there are 28 different bacterial strains in here, which cover a whole range of the different microbiomes that you have within your body itself. And if you wanted to supplement that specifically for the gut, you could also take the PB Assist Plus sticks with it, and which are a group of those strains which are really focused on the gut microbiome itself. And at the same time as you're doing that 10 days, the last thing that we have in here is the DDR Prime essential oil blend. And this essential oil blend is a wonderful blend of oils, which are really powerhouse for antioxidants. And the, the oxidative stress is often the side effect of the toxins that are coming in and the process that are happening in the body. So those, that antioxidant really helps to sort of reset the body and renew um, and set you going forward. Um, and that includes things like clove and frankincense and litsea and yoli. Um, these are really powerful oils which help in many ways. So that's a great thing to take for that last 10 days as well, to set you up and to renew you. So that at the end of this 30 day, you've gone through the whole process and your body is at its prime and ready to go ahead. I often get asked how often you should do that and there is no one answer. Um, as I said, the traditional approach is very often a twice a year. A seasonal approach is not a bad way to look at it, but I, my mantra is always know yourself. You need to know when you might need this. It might be because you've had a particularly stressful time and you've not been eating well and you're feeling run down. That might be a great time to have another detox and to boost yourself and to kick yourself into gear. So it could be every couple of months. It could be depending on how you're living at once a year, twice a year, when you need to know when you might need it. But what I'd like to say is if you've never done a detox before, or if it's a long time since you've done it, then now is a great time to set yourself up for 30 days, use the doTERRA Cleanse and Restore program and kick off yourself into a new you. You'll be surprised how wonderful you feel at the end of it. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy using it.